These cats are really brave and they seem to be friends with most of the wildlife. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 12.05 and the little cat is sitting under the feeding table by the water bowl. So this morning I put a small plate of crunchies outside just to see if anyone would come by. And this little one came by along with the, the torty with the stripe down the middle of its face. I'm kind of thinking maybe that one should be named Ziggy because it kind of reminds me of Ziggy Stardust with you know, the stripe down the face. I'm not settling on any names yet. Everything is still up in the air with regards to names. But what I did then was I put a platter of food out um, with some friskies and some crunchies and they came back and ate. And I'm pretty sure this little one is a is a boy because I just checked the security camera footage and his backside looked like a boy. So then I put some more crunchies on the platter just in case someone wanted to come by and eat more. And I checked the security camera again and it was the little guy along with the one with the, the white boots. Now if I name the black and white one Sammy in honor of Sammy Davis Jr., I'm kind of thinking maybe the one with the white boots should be Frank. Um, you know, like Sammy, Frank, and Dean, the Rat Pack. Maybe the blotchy one would be Dean. Uh, maybe this one would be Frank because the white boots kind of remind me of Go-Go Boots. And Frank Sinatra's daughter had that song, These Boots Are Made For Walking. Um, I don't think this cat is female. I think this cat is a male. Otherwise, I think it was Nancy Sinatra that's saying that. Maybe the cat would be called Nancy, but I don't think it's... I don't think it's female. I think it's male. Um, also, I'm going to put some more some more food out. I'd rather they come by during the day than deal with the raccoons. Also, if they come by during the day, um, if I need to trap them and you know take them to a vet to have them spayed or neutered, it would be better. I don't want to do it at night. And um, also, it's supposed to rain later. So here's another platter. Uh, this is a, another can of the Friskies. It's one of their seafood-based foods, along with some, some crunchies. This is what's going on with the other plates. It's about 7.30 p.m. And it's just starting to rain now. It's a very light rain. And I put a platter of food out a little while ago, and one of the torties ate some food. And then I just took another plate out and the cat with the blotches, um, the blotchy tabby, was uh, eating some food, but as soon as I opened the door, he ran. So hopefully he'll come back. And um, hopefully this table will keep any rain and water out of the plates. There he is. See him? There's still a little bit of food left on the platter he's eating on. And then on the one next to it, that's the full one. I'm pretty sure this one is a male based upon security camera footage. I think the smallest one is a male. I think the one with like the white boots is a male. I think this one is a male. I. I don't know what the black and white one is, and I think the two torties are girls. It's around 8 p.m. right now, and the platters were completely empty. So I just put some more food out. I uh, put out another can of Friskies. Um, I mixed a lot of water into it, 
and I also put out some crunchies so if they come back to eat fine if not maybe they had enough I don't know uh, where else they're eating I don't know who else is feeding them I don't know where they go during the day I don't know where they go the rest of the night I do know that they're pretty active at night I do see them on the security camera footage walking about the yard um, but I don't really know so here's one so that's good I'd rather the cats get the food than um, the raccoons it looks like there's two now there's one on the left and one on the right I'm checking out the security camera footage look at what's going on here so there's a cat eating here here's the other cat and there's a possum in the background right so this cat moves and the possum is just like walking around it's looking at the cat now it's just nonchalantly coming and eating off this platter so there's a cat eating on this platter and a possum eating on this platter these cats are really brave and they seem to be friends with most of the wildlife they weren't afraid of the raccoons yesterday or the night before and they're not afraid of possums these cats are definitely outdoor survivors there's another cat now in the back. Is that the black and white one? I don't know if they're going to attack the possum. Oh no, that's a tortie. There's two. That's one of the torties. So this camera got moved. And I'm trying to figure out who moved this camera. Okay. We got a good shot of the back side. Yeah, those torties are appear to be girls. Usually they are. There's another there's another cat. So the possum left. Obviously it was surrounded by four cats. Five. There's the fifth cat. I want to know how this camera got moved, though. Because it's no longer pointing at this table. I don't know if one of the cats rubbed up against it, or if a raccoon came by or something. I don't know. But it should be on, on this clip. There's another two minutes left. Well, I do have to say, I mean, they're a happy cat family. They all get along really well. Or at least it appears that way in any of the um, footage that I've seen. This one looks like a boy. This is the little, the little tiny one. Oh no. Did the camera freeze? Oh, this is not good. I want to see what happened. There's audio, but there's no video. Now there's a skunk. I put two platters of dry food out. Do you see it? The skunk is eating the food, and the cats are watching it. Here's the skunk, there's a cat, and there's two cats. They're just like, okay, let the skunk eat. As long as that skunk does not spray them. Please don't spray my patio furniture. Oh, look at this. The cats seem to want to get along with everyone. They don't want to start problems 
They just want to peacefully coexist. Skunk still eating. Look at that. So there's some over here. There, there's some cats under the patio furniture. And there's a cat there. Look at the. It's gonna lay down. The cat's laying down to watch the skunk eat. And the other ones are just hanging out. Do you see? You can see their eyes. And there goes the skunk. Eh. Skunk's just walking away. And the cat went right to the platter where their skunk was eating. These cats are really something else. It is 6.11 p.m. And that's Boo. He's meowing because he wants some of this food, but he's not getting it because he just had his dinner. So this is a can of Friskies. I think it's a turkey and giblets with some water mixed in, and then there's some dry cat food uh, mixed in with it on the platter. I'm using a plastic platter today because it has been raining all day. It's really wet outside. I don't know if the cats are gonna come and eat anything. I saw one of the cats um, on the security camera came by a few hours ago looking for some food, checking out the feeding table. So I'll put this out and I'll see if anyone shows up. If they do, fine. If they don't, fine. Boo, it's not for you. It's for the poor cats outside, okay? It's for the less fortunate cats that are living outside, Boo. So everything outside is very wet and it's still raining. Uh, lightly and that's one of the old platters that I used to feed the cats on when they lived outside so this platter is probably like six years old and it fits under this table the only thing is that you know with six cats eating under this table they all can't fit under it at the same time when I was only feeding you know three at a time Stella and the kittens they fit well under the table they actually had a smaller table at the time I believe so this table is just a cheap piece of plywood from Home Depot uh, that has been cut down. I think it's two feet by four feet, but I could be wrong. It might be like 18 inches by 36 inches. Um, and then um, it's just a two by two that's been cut into, I think those are 12 inch segments that are the legs. And I think it's just held together with some nails or some screws. Uh, Grandpa Farrell made this um, when uh, Hydrox and Ditto were living outside. So, um, yeah, it's just it's just a really cheap thrown together table, but it does the job of uh, keeping rain or snow off of cat food and uh, giving the cats a little bit of shelter while they're eating. So Boo was crying, so I gave him the rest of the little can of Wellness chicken and herring that he likes to have mixed into his dinner. And Stella likes it too, so I gave her a little bit as a taste. So they're having a little snack right now. Uh, they're gonna have crunchies in a few hours, um, but this is really just to keep Boo from following me around the house and crying at me. It's 6.39 p.m. and here's Stella. She's watching one of the torties eat the food on the platter. It showed up a few minutes ago. There it is. It was looking up at the window before. I didn't want to scare it. I don't know if the other cats are going to show up or not, but... At least this one's eating. So here's Stella. And there's another cat sitting in the grass. Maybe this is the one with the white paws. To me, this looks like one that I haven't seen before because the small one, the tiny one, doesn't have a white bib like that. 
maybe this is the one with the white boots. Maybe it just looks different because it's been out in the rain. Let's see what happens. Are they going to greet each other? Yeah, stretching, good sign. Kissing. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one with the boots. Okay, there's still plenty of food on that platter. They could share it. Did you see what the tortie did? So the tortie walked over to the other cat and was like, Oh, hey, how are you? You can come and eat with me. And invited the other cat over to eat. Isn't that nice? So I'm happy it's earlier today. And um, I would like to get these cats on an earlier schedule. Look at Boo. He's watching the cats. I put out another can of Friskies mixed with some water and a whole bunch more of the dry food. So the platter is full again. They ate everything off of that platter. So the two cats um, finished off a 5.5 ounce can of Friskies. So that means they had like a half can each and they had a lot of crunchies. And look at these two. They act like they haven't had food all day. They just had a very nice dinner not too long ago. But they're reminding me of when these two used to be living outside. This is how I used to see them all the time. I always used to see Stella and Boo, and this is what they would do. They would be together like this, and they'd be waiting for food or looking for food or eating food if I gave it to them. Maybe it's bringing back memories for them. They're remembering when the two of them used to be outside like that. So it's now about 8 p.m. and it's raining again. And there are two more cats eating. This is, um, it looked like it was the, the small one and then the blotchy one, the classic tabby. So it seems that they're eating in pairs. which is good because then they could fit uh, under the table better and it looks like it looks like that platter is just about empty again what I'm realizing is I should clean out um, the alcove under the house um, not that I have a lot of stuff under it um, but I have more stuff under it than I used to um, when the cats used to hang out there. So I should definitely move stuff out. Because then these cats would have some place dry to hang out. I just put a third platter of food out. Um, it's the same thing. Another can of the Friskies and a whole bunch of dry food. So four of the six have eaten so far. Um, the ones who haven't are the black and white one and another one of the torties. So... Um, Hopefully they'll be the next ones to come by. Maybe they're coming in shifts. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. That's it for the night. Um, hopefully it won't be raccoons or possums or anything. I'll check the security camera in a little while and see what happened to it. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos. And please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.